Hello, this time we're gonna disassemble Acer Aspire, the model is 7535, it's a 17 inch laptop. The problem with this one yeah, basically is that uh, since there is no battery on the laptop, when you unplug the cable it forgot the date and the, the time, so we have to change the internal battery. It's a 2032 model batteries, but the batteries on the other side is not underneath the service hall, so basically I have to disassemble the whole laptop. So let's get started. The battery is missing, so we're gonna start removing all the screws on the service holes, of course, first. This laptop have a second bay for a optional second hard drive like this we'll remove the hard drive the first one basically just pull it up because it's it's with a different connector after that we're gonna remove the Wi-Fi because it's held on the plastic here and I don't need actually to remove the board to change the battery but uh, just for the video I'm gonna show you how you can remove everything yeah this is empty the next thing is the optical drive Like this. Now we start the boring part. We have to remove all the screws on the back one by one. We have to clean the laptop also because, as much as I remember. The last time I opened that laptop was in uh, 2015, so for three years probably it will get a lot of dust in it. The screws on the back are all the same size, only the ones that are underneath the service holes are, with, are shorter, those two, so they are the only different ones. As much as I remember, we don't need to remove those covers there for the power button and for the power jack, so I think we can disassemble it without them. And when you disassemble, always remove the car drive, the car reader um, cover, because sometimes it's blocking the board. To be moved out. Uh, this one is broken, I think. Okay, since we remove all the screws right now, we're gonna flip the laptop around and start removing the things. The first thing is we have to remove the cover above the keyboard, just catch it from one side and lift it gently disconnect the cables from here it will be much easier like this 
the next thing is the keyboard we remove all the screws so basically just pull it up and disconnect after that we have to disconnect the other side of the cable something alive in here like this we have to remove the cables for the Wi-Fi module and disconnect the other cable plus the cable for the touchpad and for the button of the touchpad here because they are separated like this right now we have to remove a couple more screws the ones here are all white and I think they're the same size so you can put them on a different place so you don't you don't make a mistake after that when you reassemble it mm, I think that's all we'll see now so the next thing is to remove the board since it's a 17 inch laptop it's actually pretty easy because the chassis is very big so just move it like this we forgot one more cable here the one for the shortcut buttons here for the Bluetooth Wi-Fi always check the screws on the hinges because they are getting loose with the time now that's our battery we'll measure it because I think that's the problem it should be above 3 volts and basically right now is 0 0.89 so that's our problem for sure I'm gonna change that later just let me finish the disassembly so I can show you everything you can either remove the modem card or just unplug the cable I'm gonna unplug it after that just unplug the cable here for the right USBs we have to disconnect the speakers the display cable and the power cable like this now we gotta find the screw which is holding I think it's this one the whole board is held I think by one screw so basically the only thing right now you gotta do is just lift the board up gently let me find some place to something to put it on just put it like this and basically that's the whole procedure the next thing you gotta do is remove the screws on the CPU on the VGA card clean everything change the thermal paste and reassemble on the reverse hope you like the video bye bye for now